guys, welcome back to The Daily Light, episode two. So I wanna say thank you so much for watching episode one. I was not expecting any of the views that I got. I truly was kind of blown away. It was, it made my, it literally made my whole day. Like it made so much, it meant so much to me. Um, I just wanna say a big shout out to God because there was more than one person who reached out to me saying that's exactly the encouragement they needed to hear for that day. And just seeing the amount of people who promoted the video and shared it on their social medias and reached out to me saying that they shared it with some of their family and some of their friends and they, they loved it. And I just wanna say thank you for that. Um, you guys are being kingdom workers by doing that. I'm slowly trying to, you know, be a, be a, a vessel to bring some daily light into you guys so that you can take that light manifest it, grow it, and spread it to others. I can only do so much myself, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep trying to do that for as long as God tells me to keep doing it. So I just wanna say thank you. Um, now I wanna touch on a topic really quick though, before um, before I forget to talk about it as you know, my mind gets crazy with all the homework and all the stress stuff going on with all, everything going on in this world. I think this makes this point ever more important. Something that gets me every single time I'm reading through the gospels, which Surprisingly, I think is more often than I'd like to admit because I'll start reading it and then I'll stop for some reason and then I'll be like, well, shoot, now I gotta start from the beginning again. And in the beginning of Mark, actually Mark 1 verse 35, um, it's talking about Jesus. Clearly, it's the gospel. And this entire part of Mark 1 just like talks about Jesus' ministry and all these different like miracles that he's doing. Like the first from 21 through 34, it's Jesus healing the many and healing the unclean spirits. And then from 40 onward is like cleansing the leper. But there's a little spot in between. And that first verse that I want to talk about is Mark 1 verse 35. And it's talking about Jesus and it says, And rising very early in the morning, while it was still dark, he departed and went out to a desolate place. And there he prayed. And... It, it always strikes me whenever I hear this part because it's like, this is the son of God. Like, this is Jesus we're talking about. And in between him doing the most miraculous things ever recorded in history, he has to take a dedicated moment out of his day, go separate himself from everybody else and speak with the God who loves him. He speaks with his father. He goes and spends purposeful time with his father. I think that's amazing. So I was looking at it and I'm like, every single time I see this, I'm like, well, if Jesus is doing it, I surely have to do it. I'm not perfect. Jesus was. And if Jesus had to do it, we sure as heck have to do it. Not only looking at it as Jesus did it, but you can look at just the, the mental benefits, you know, take, take spirit out of it. If you look at just the, the mental benefits of it, you can focus your mind on tasks that you have to do. You can reduce your stress exponentially. You can quite literally relax your body and your breathing to make your day just so much better, so much more relaxed. Because I think myself, or like many of you, where we'll either sleep way too long and be up and rushed out the door where we don't get to have that that moment to even think or breathe until we're in the car driving to work or wherever we have to go. Or maybe we're sleeping too long and just getting up and getting on with our day. Or we get up early and have our morning so packed full of things like studying, doing homework, maybe it's talking with others, checking your phone first thing. I'm definitely a culprit of that. But we can see if we're trying to live a life like Jesus, which we're all called to do, and there's no light better to spread than the light of Jesus. If he has to get up in the morning and make that sacrifice of getting up before it's even light outside to go spend some time with God, I think we can probably manage a couple minutes. So I just want to talk about what those couple of minutes could look like. And I think my experience from Spring Hill over the summer, which is a Christian organization, they really pushed this happening. We only did it about twice a week, but it ended up becoming a daily routine for me. And I loved it because if you can get up and you can spend five minutes just five minutes with God, you'll find that that time easily flies by. If you just sit and listen, it can just be you and your body and your soul and your heart just open and listening to God's voice. Often God's voice comes in whispers, but when you finally hear it and you accept it and let it hit your heart, 
that whisper sounds as loud as thunder in your heart and in your soul. So I encourage you, maybe it's, maybe it's to grab your Bible. Maybe it's to grab your Bible and grab your journal and go take some notes on what you hear. Maybe it's just to reflect on the thoughts flying through your head and give them to God, surrender some of that. But I encourage you to spend a couple moments with God. Like I said, maybe bring your Bible, maybe bring your journal. Maybe bring a little bit of worship music. Maybe bring a cup of coffee. That's what I have to do. So I'm not gonna, I'd fall asleep if I didn't. But spend some alone time with God. Maybe that's at your kitchen table. Maybe that's in your living room on your floor. Maybe that's laying on your bedroom floor. Maybe that's going sitting out in the, in the yard. But spend some quality time with God. Let him take your stress. Let him take your anxiety. Let him refuel your light every single morning so that you can spread that light to others. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching the first episode. And I really hope this is some practical takeaway for encouraging steps to help build you guys up so that you can go out and build more people. I just want to say thank you again for watching that first episode and watching this episode. Like you guys have literally like, I'm so excited. So just thank you for all your kind words. And if you have comments or prayers or want to stay on board with this, you can comment, you can, you can subscribe, you can share this video with others, you can share any of these videos with anybody else. You can let me know if there's something that you could really use encouragement in and you know, sure as heck, that'll go to the top of the list. I don't really have a list right now, by the way. I'm just kind of going with whatever God tells me to go with. But if you have something for me, I'd love to hear. Thank you for all who reached out to me before. And before I let you go, I just want to say a quick prayer and send you off on your day, okay? So let's get to it. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for the opportunity to be here speaking to so many people um, just in the comfort of my own home. Lord, I thank you for caring about each one of us. And I thank you for the lives you've already impacted through just one video. Lord, I just pray that you use my, myself and you use everybody who's watching these videos to, to spread your light daily, Father. To spread your light to those around us, our family, our friends, those who we interact with, even though that might not be a lot right now. Lord, help us build a habit of spreading that light now so that when this whole world comes back into order and, it, and we're back in the you know public, we're back interacting with people, that we're so much more comfortable with being that light and spreading your love, God. So I encourage each and every one of these people, God, that you be with them, that you ready their hearts and their souls and their minds for some quality alone time with you, God. Lord, I pray you speak to them. I pray you use that alone time to just work, work your wonderful, wonderful love and your works inside them, God. Lord, I thank you for the opportunity to be a vessel of your word and your light. And I pray that you keep giving me the energy to do so. Lord, I love you and I thank you for this opportunity. And I thank you for being you and all that you do in my life and the lives of those listening, God. I ask all these prayers in your wonderful, glorious, and precious name, Father. Amen. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.